this is the story of a husband and wife. They're out on a January night having dinner. And the wife is five months pregnant. And as they finish eating dinner, the wife starts to feel some pain inside of her stomach. She thinks maybe it's indigestion, you know, maybe the baby's a bit gassy, or maybe it's just normal cramps. She doesn't think of it as something too serious. So she goes home and she lays down and she starts to notice that the pain becomes more frequent. Every five minutes the pain is coming and going. Then it comes down to four minutes, to three minutes, to two minutes. And the husband's witnessing all of this. And at two minutes he says, honey, you know what? We need to take you to the hospital. They go to the hospital, the doctors check her out, and they tell her that you're 23 weeks pregnant and you're about to go into labor. And she starts panicking, she starts freaking out. And to add to that panic, they ask her, more than likely, your baby is going to be born dead. Do you want us to resuscitate your baby? Should we try to bring it back to life? And you think to yourself at that time, SubhanAllah, why would a doctor even bother asking this question? So at that time, there's some more complications in the birth, and they actually end up delaying the labor for four days. For four days, she's feeling contractions. They try to delay the labor as much as they can. The fourth day comes, and they're unable to delay it anymore. And then this baby, literally no larger than my hand, is born at the weight of one pound. Is born at the weight of one pound. The doctors tell the husband and wife, there's less than a 2% chance that this baby will survive. Less than a 2% chance. So the husband and wife, they start making dua. Oh Allah, please cure our baby. Oh Allah, please make it healthy. And it, they stay with the baby in the intensive care unit for three consecutive nights. On the third consecutive night, one doctor comes in and says, your baby, it has three bleeds in the brain, meaning it's bleeding from three different parts of the brain. Another doctor comes and tells them that your baby is going to be in a stage of vegetation, meaning it's not going to be able to move. A third doctor comes in and says, your baby is going to be mentally slow and physically disabled. This is the worst possible scenario for your baby. You might as well pull it off of life support. Now you can imagine all of this discouragement from the doctors. Again, the husband and wife, they make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, please protect our baby. Oh Allah, please take care of our baby. And each time a visitor would come, all they would tell the visitors is make dua for our baby. Now after three bleeds, three surgeries, multiple blood transfusions, and an uncountable number of infections, one year later, baby Maria, as is her name, she's crawling, she's walking, she's laughing, she's giggling, she's smiling. And subhanAllah, had they put their trust in the doctors, the baby would have been dead. But they put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, making dua to Allah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took care of that baby. Allahu Akbar.